This is not a science channel, nor am I a scientist, but what I'm about to share with you about vibration will change the way you think about sound, and it'll change the way you think about making music. In 1831, British soldiers began to march across the Broughton Suspension Bridge. As they marched, the bridge began to vibrate in sync with the footsteps, and the bridge collapsed. After investigation, it was discovered that the soldiers' rhythmic marching matched the natural frequency of the bridge, causing mechanical resonance, a phenomenon that occurs when a system is subject to vibration that matches its natural frequency. This resonance then increases the amplitude of the oscillation every cycle. The increasing amplitude of the oscillation cycles is what can cause structures to shake or even collapse. This effect was seen as recently as 2011 in Seoul, South Korea with a 39-story office building. After vertical tremors started rocking the building back and forth, the building was evacuated. Later, it was discovered that not an earthquake nor severe wind caused the incident. Rather, it was a 23-person aerobics class on a mid-level floor. The intensity of the workout caused their syncopated footwork to match the building's structural resonance, thus causing the amplified oscillation. I like to think that this is how the walls of Jericho fell in the Old Testament. Joshua led anywhere from 100,000 to 600,000 men in March around the city walls of Jericho for seven days. The Broughton Suspension Bridge collapsed with 74 soldiers marching across. I wonder what kind of damage 100,000 to 600,000 men could do marching in step. 